Staring at my closet of stuff to wear on a day where it is 75 degrees, I realized an error of my ways. I didn't bring any short sleeve t-shirts at all. None. I mean, did I just assume that it would never get warm again? What was I thinking? And it makes it worse that whenever I'm looking at the, uh, the forecast for the rest of the week, 75, 67, 75, 71, 64, 68. I mean, that's all t-shirt weather, and I didn't bring any t-shirts. Dan, you're smart. You, you didn't? No. And you're also the Green Lantern. But yeah, you're smart. I didn't bring any stinking short sleeve t-shirts at all. None. None. Zero. Zero. Or shorts. But that's okay. I can live with pants. But seriously, I'm dumb. We don't really eat at Sam's anymore. We've been changing it up every weekend, and now we're gonna do Super King Buffet. Everyone just ignore him. <laughs> Man, they have chicken up there like you wouldn't believe. On my plate, I got lemon chicken, Japanese chicken, which is pretty much Bourbon Street chicken, spicy chicken and shrimp, honey chicken, I don't know, a lot of chicken. I'm a fan of chicken. Pretty much everyone's got some variation of chicken and rice, and lo mein. You started out too simple. And also, you look so fancy over there because you have hot tea. That makes you really fancy. This is a disgusting question because it's interesting and it's been raised at the table. Um, this, uh, Alex is eating crawfish. <laughs> and uh, that's actually somewhat related to what we're talking about. I can't eat food that's looking at me. I just can't do it. It's, it's not that I wouldn't mind trying crawfish, but like the fact that you have to like break open their little bodies and try do that, like try I just I can't do that. Like in fact, if the head was missing, I could I would be fine. Like if it, if they were headless crawfish, which they actually sounds tails? yeah, if it was tails, yeah, like I could do that, but I can't do it where it's looking at me. And Dan says he's Dan's in the same boat. Dan's dead. not in yeah, not in like, favor. Like I've had lobster before, where you know, like you you know you like crack it open and then you like pull out the meat and you eat it. But, I don't know, something, something about the head kind of looking at you, kind of... Yeah, I, if it's looking at me, I won't eat it. It's, it's my philosophy. Sorry, I, I can't do it. I was just curious how many other people are like that, because I didn't know if it's like a 50-50 divide or if most people are like, I'll eat it. Because it seems like people will be like on my side, or at least that's the way I feel. Uh, no? No? Well, go to New Orleans and ask it. Well, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's a special situation. But I, I, you know, if it's looking at me, I'm not going to open it up. The food was really good, but at the end, <laughs> we're all sitting there, and she comes and brings us all our checks. And as soon as she hands, she sits them all down. She goes, "You pay now." And that was like, that, that we we had to immediately like get everything out and pay her. I was gonna give her like money and stuff, but she was just like standing there looking at me, like my wallet, and I just felt weird. Yeah, I, she she, it's not. Clearly, he's not familiar with the etiquette of. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was getting my card out, and she just stood there and took the cards. And, and she wanted us to pay now. And yeah. we, we all had to immediately pay then. And that probably helps her tips though, because like. Oh yeah, man. Not my tips. <laughs> and then, and then what? You, well, uh, well, after she brought, after she uh, took everybody's cards and came back, then instead of like letting us like put like how much we were gonna tip her on there. Like, she just stood there, and it was, like, this glaring, like, eyes. It's like, oh, God, well, you get 40%. You did such a good job of never coming to the table at all. Good job. So, yeah, that actually probably does help her tips quite a bit. It's scaring the people in the table. Yeah, I gave her, like, two. I was going to give her two, but she's kept staring at me. I couldn't do it. <laughs> so you didn't? No, I didn't tip her. I was going to. If she would have went away and allowed me to tip in privacy, uh, you know what I'm saying, in my own comfort, I would have tipped her. <laughs> she, she, might have, she might as well have been, like, sitting across from you, staring you in the face, and, like, continually touching the paper with the tip line, and being, like, right here, right it's here. It's a very nice wristwatch you have. <laughs> In all seriousness, the uh, the Chinese buffet was very good, but uh, they had sushi there. They had they had some sort of sushi. It was uh, it was fake crab and then also some fish. I think it was maki. I'm not sure, but uh, I had some, and uh, I I don't know. First off, it was bad. It was terrible. It tasted awful. It was the worst sushi I've ever had in my life, and I completely mean that. But also, like I've been really sick on my stomach, so hopefully I'm okay. Talk about your experiences with Chinese buffets below. Or you could talk about a weird experience paying for your bill. I mean, I don't know if that's ever happened to you guys. What happened to us today where she was, like, just standing there watching us?
you pay now. I mean, we were going to pay. You don't have to stand over us. Leave me a comment. I will read them and stay tuned for tomorrow. Except tomorrow. You can't watch tomorrow until it's tomorrow. You pay now! My hand still smells like crawfish.